In our previous presentations, we understood the difference between decidable and undecidable problems. Also, we understood what is the nature of undecidable problems. Now, in this lecture, we will understand the difference between two types of analysis of algorithms. One is known as posteriori analysis and the other one is known as priori analysis. Let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. In this lecture, we will first understand what is analysis of algorithms and why we analyze algorithms. Then we will proceed with the second topic where we will discuss the difference between priori and posteriori analysis. Let's get started with the first topic which is introduction to analysis of algorithms. So, what is analysis of algorithms? Analysis of algorithms is the study of an algorithm's performance based on time and memory space consumption. So, based on these two factors, we analyze an algorithm's performance. So, analysis of algorithms is all about testing the performance of an algorithm based on these two factors. But why do we analyze algorithms? The reason is pretty simple. There can be many algorithms to solve a specific problem. Knowing which algorithm is best in terms of time and space is hence crucial. It is quite obvious that the algorithm which takes least amount of time and memory space is always preferred over the others to solve a problem. Hence, analysis of algorithms is needed. So, clearly, the algorithm which takes least amount of time and memory space is preferred over others. We choose these type of algorithms. Hence, finding these algorithms is important and for this we need to analyze algorithms. So, this is the reason why we do analysis of algorithms. This allows us to check the performance of an algorithm based on time and memory space consumption. But how do we do the analysis? There are two ways in which we can analyze an algorithm. First way is priori analysis and the second way is posteriori analysis. Now we will understand the difference between these two analyses. To properly understand how do we analyze an algorithm based on these two types. So, let's now understand the difference between priori and posteriori analysis. So, what is the difference between the two? Let's see some points about these two types. The first one is priori analysis. Priori analysis is the estimation of time and memory space required by an algorithm before executing it on the system. As the name suggests, in priori we have the word prior. So, analysis is done prior to the execution on the system. Here we estimate the time and memory space required by an algorithm. We just roughly estimate the amount of time and memory space required by an algorithm because the analysis is not done after the execution of an algorithm on the system. Here we are analyzing an algorithm before executing it on the system. Hence, we can only give the rough estimation of time and memory space required by an algorithm. So, this is priori analysis. And what about posteriori analysis? In case of posteriori analysis, we calculate the time and memory space required by an algorithm after executing it on the system. Here we do the actual calculation because we are executing the algorithm on the system and we are doing the analysis after execution. And here in the word itself, we have the word post. This means post execution on the system, we analyze our algorithm. So, here we do the actual calculation of time and memory space. Hence, we will get the accurate values. So, in case of priori analysis, we get the rough estimation of time and memory space. While in case of posteriori analysis, we get the exact time and memory space required by an algorithm. The second difference is 
that priori analysis is independent of the programming language. Because clearly we are not analyzing our algorithms after execution, hence priori analysis is not dependent on the programming language. If we do the analysis after execution, then we need to execute our algorithms. In order to execute our algorithms, we need to convert them to their equivalent programs. Hence, programming languages need it. But as we are doing analysis before execution of an algorithm, the priori analysis is independent of the programming language. And as you might have guessed already, posteriori analysis is dependent on the programming language. Because here we calculate the exact time and memory space required by an algorithm after executing it on the system. So clearly, we need to convert our algorithm to its equivalent program and in order to write the program, we need a programming language. Hence, posteriori analysis is dependent on the programming language. It might be possible that one algorithm which is written in Java may run faster than the algorithm which is written in Python. Choice of programming language matters a lot in case of posteriori analysis. While in case of priori analysis, we do not have to worry about the choice of programming language because we are analyzing our algorithm before executing it on the system. The third difference is that priori analysis is independent of the hardware. This means it is not system dependent. As we are analyzing our algorithm before executing it on the system, hence clearly priori analysis is independent of the hardware or system. But posteriori analysis is dependent on the hardware. It depends on the hardware because an algorithm needs to be converted to its equivalent program and we need to execute that program in order to do the calculation of time and memory space. This means that system in which we are running that program matters a lot. It might be possible that we run an algorithm on a Pentium machine and if we run the same algorithm on i7, then it may take less time to execute because i7 is more powerful than Pentium. So, posteriori analysis is dependent on the hardware. I hope these differences are clear. Now the main question, what type of analysis we follow throughout this course? We will follow the priori analysis and the reason is that this is the most practical analysis we can do. Posteriori analysis is not that practical because in case of posteriori analysis, we need to do the actual calculation of time and memory space. For this, we need to take into consideration the choice of programming language and the platform in which we run our algorithms. This will be very difficult. In case of posteriori analysis, we may need to run our algorithms on different machines to accurately calculate the time and memory space required by an algorithm. Hence, it is not a preferred choice of analysis. While in case of priori analysis, we need to estimate the time and memory space required by an algorithm before executing it on the system. It is independent of the programming language and hardware. Hence, we do not have to take these two into consideration. Hence, this type of analysis is practical. So, we will go with priori analysis. Although we may not get the exact time and memory space required by an algorithm, but even if we get the estimation, that is also fine. So, one thing is clear that we will proceed with the priori analysis throughout this course. So, with this, we are done with this topic of priori versus posteriori analysis and hence we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.